<laughs> hey everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Podcast with special guest Zedsto. Hello guys! <laughs> Hello guys! Hello guys! Good in France being French, so we're goodless. This yep, episode. I will be playing the part of good today. <laughs> so you just gotta uh, like argue about everything. <laughs> he is, he's uh, sipping espresso and eating a croissant and saying ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's not stereotypical at all. Some ghoul was. <laughs> so um I wonder how he's doing over there. Have you guys you guys have talked to him. I haven't every time he's like been on Skype talking to you guys about it, I've been offline. Yeah, so then you come on really... like like Two hours later saying, hello, is anyone here? Oh, you guys are ignoring me. <laughs> it's like when we're all sleeping. <laughs> what are we talking about when we're all sleeping? I just said that. It was like an hour ago. Yeah, I was <laughs> sleeping an hour ago. <laughs> oh, you're at, you're three hours behind, yeah, right? Yeah, three hours behind. It's it's just 12 right now. Wow, waking up at noon. Early yeah, bird like, gets the worm, I guess. Yeah, I don't like waking up. I'm used to waking up at like 1.30. Oh, yeah, ready. I was going to say, you're waking up at noon. That's early for you. It's too early <laughs> you're really, uh, You're really getting on the ball there. I know. Yeah, he's it's turning weird. his life around. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid the mid-afternoon schedule. worm gets the bird or something? <laughs> gets the Why would I... bird or something. Dude, that, that worm would be hungry if he ate, ate a bird. All right. I so think he'd be full. <laughs> today, is, today is November the 18th, and guys, guess what launched today? I'm super excited. The Wii U. Jetpack. Oh, no, what is the Wii, the Wii U? What is that? See, that's a problem right there. The Wii U is not doing a good a good job of marketing itself. No, I know what it is, but um, I was I was trying to be funny. Oh, uh, I do know mission what it is. failed. Stand up comedian <laughs> Zisto here. Jeez. Well, no, I'm serious though. A lot of people don't know what it is. Really? They yeah. think it's like an attachment for the Wii. Yeah. So this is a completely different console. The marketing has sucked. It has sucked, and it yeah, it's not been a lot of adverts. I have to say. And the last thing I remember is uh, they debuted that see-through controller. Was it at, like E3 or one of the other things like that? And that's the last I remember hearing about it. See-through? Hmm? E3. Yeah. I know, but you said a see-through yes. controller? Yeah, it's got glass in it. You can hold it up to the screen and it like... Oh, it's things not will show up. see-through though. Well, I guess it'll... <laughs> It's a, like a tablet. I don't, I don't remember. Like I just remember the demo where you would hold up the controller yeah. to the screen and it would like mimic this what was on the TV. Yeah, but then yeah. you would have special things on your screen. Well, that's basically what it is. Um, it's a Wii with uh, updated graphics and a brand new controller. The thing about the Wii was it was piss cheap. Mm -hmm. And that's why they sold a lot. You know, it wasn't the, the the strongest machine out there, but it was it, it was cheap and it had <laughs> it didn't suck. It was <laughs> No, it sucked. No, it sucked. It, it did suck. It's yeah. just different, different market, but <laughs> it's the Wii U is bloody expensive. Well, no, is comparatively it? speaking, it's, as it's a PS3 launch, money. It, well, now, how much? Uh, how much as money a launch title, remember when the PS3 came out, it was six ninety nine Canadian. I don't know how much that translates into pounds and, and American dollars, but the Wii U is three ninety nine Canadian. So that's that's a huge difference. That's, that's more than fifty Wii, quid. Right? Eh? When the Wii debuted, it wasn't that the much. The Wii, was I believe, was two twenty nine Canadian when it debuted. Yeah, that's a yeah. big difference. Well, no, yeah. there, there's there's two different consoles. That's right. yeah. You're able yeah. to get one that has like eight gigs, but then you're able to and get comes one that with has a game. Like, does it? Yeah, the one that has eight gigs comes with a game. That's why it's three ninety nine. Uh, if you get the other one, it's two ninety nine. I believe. Shit, I got yeah. two games ah. then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. literally right after this podcast, I got to go pick up mine. Oh no way. I, I, I pre ordered it and I got Zombie U with it, so Oh man, I was just gonna talk about Zombie U, dude. Oh, I think dude. you made a mistake. Why? They just reviewed it on IGN. It uh, got a six point five yeah, out I of know. ten. Yeah, but IGN are clueless. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're yeah, not. They're... <laughs> they're they're what? <laughs> yeah, you're 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 technically an employee of IGN, so uh your opinion is invalid in No no, listen. Even before I signed with IGN, I, I that's where I went to get all my game reviews. That and GameSpot or yeah, GameSpot. Um I, but yeah, it's the stuff they talk about. It doesn't I mean even the even the did you watch the review pause? Uh I haven't watched the review. But okay, I've, I've read a couple that were leaning both ways. Like, if you watch the video, it even looks kind of derpy. Yeah, so but it, I know it just looks cool. nothing about Zombie U. What distinguishes it from the, all the other zombie games? Zombie um, well, it, it's, I guess it's, it's, it's intuitive with the new controller and everything. And just 
that. Right. Basically, when you loot bodies, instead of uh, your inventory showing up on the screen, it shows up on your gamepad. But the main difference, I think, is this is sort of like um, how long can you survive thing. Like, yeah. it times you. Um, uh -huh. And then once you're dead, your character's dead, and you start as a different character. Oh, so it's kind of, um, there's no story. It's kind of like Project no. Zomboid, where you just try there's and last like, as long as you can. According to the review, there's like no story at all. <laughs> that's a, so it's a roguelike. Sure. Yeah, I could Does see. the uh, the map randomly spawn? I don't know about that, actually. I doubt it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure myself. Well, but I'd like to point out on Metacritic, it has a meta score of 7.3. That's okay. not bad. That's not terrible, but I'm more looking forward to the new Mario game, to be honest. I haven't yeah, I'm good, excited for that. A good Mario world since, like, the one on Super Nintendo. Even Which Actually, one? no, the one on N64 was really good. Is it, like, new S Super Mario Brothers Wii 17 or something? No, it's <laughs> Close. Super Mario Bro the Brothers Wii U. Yeah, oh, I think okay. that's what it's called. Because oh. they, oh, yeah, they have the new Super Brothers Wii. Maybe. They went back to uh, side-scrolling, which is cool. Well, they, actually, they had that for they, the Wii, too. Yeah, I was just going to say, they went back to side-scrolling for the Wii, but that one sucked. What? It did. It, it sucked, I had dude. fun with it. I think oh, the last sure. one I played was uh, New Super Mario Brothers. It, it was for the Game Boy Advance or, or for the <laughs> DS, one or the other. I hope the DS. I think yeah, I think yeah, it was the DS, and you could get like little little tiny, or you could get bigger. I I had a lot of fun with that one. I haven't played any of the other side scrollers they've made the last couple of years. Well, yeah, that's probably the game. Uh, by the way, I also ordered pre-ordered the Wii U. It's going to be shipped to my place tomorrow. Oh really? But, yeah, I didn't get any games with it just yet. I was going to get Zombie U, but I wanted to wait for reviews, and now I'm sort of glad I did. <laughs> so you got a console, but you got no games. No, it comes with the game because I ordered the premium one. So it comes with um. Large Nintendo dog. Land, I think it's called. Yeah, Nintendo Land. Yeah, it's just a collection of mini games. It's really. basically like Wii Sports. That yeah. game with it. Just a few more. Which, by the way, was a blast. Wii Sports. Do you know anything about like online ca capability? Like, are you able to play like Super Mario Brothers U with online with friends or anything like that? I I don't know. Well, I know this one. They're focusing a lot more on online stuff because the That's Wii what was they sort say, of. Like, but I mean, like, isn't the online mode not even on on release date? No, it is. There's just stuff that's not available yet, like uh, certain apps that aren't available. I don't okay. have the list with me, but it, you could still play online. Because on if, day, if I think. do Super Mario Brothers Wii U on, online, we should oh, totally play. I want to do a Wii U game, actually, for the YouTubes, but I was going to do Zombie U. I'm, already, I'm doing it. I, I've decided. You can do it. You can, you can keep <laughs> it. <laughs> it's going to be fun, okay? Shut I up. believe you. <laughs> you go into right. there with your stupid... IGN scores all the time. <laughs> you know what's not fun is uh, being held in prison. Uh oh, segue incoming. <laughs> Against your will. <laughs> the Arma devs are still in prison and they were denied bail. So those, what was it, like 72 days they've been in prison now? Yeah, something like that. It's been, it's ridiculous how long they've been in there. 70 days. For 70 yeah. days, yeah. And Chris could do with the money, really, couldn't they? The, the scary part is if... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just let that one go. Yeah, it? screw it. They don't need money. <laughs> well, though, if, if these guys are convicted, they can face up to 20 years in prison, so Arma 3 may not even come out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. This is terrible what? news. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just... I'm not saying that it's not going to come out. It's, it's, it's two devs. I don't know if it's just... I don't know if they have more, but... Why 20 don't years in prison. give a shit about their fucking crappy old army facilities you know yeah it's so dumb they're facing 20 years in prison for just photographing some as I knowledge, bro of all the places SPR. to go to take pictures of stuff you go to uh <laughs> the place with probably the most turmoil in europe at the moment <laughs> yeah uh was it I, greek mm. greece was it yeah they're in greece they mm -hmm. okay yeah where all the riots and all that stuff is going on. Yeah. Well, pretty much all of like Western Europe is not in great shape right now, other than the UK. The UK is awesome. Yeah, Spain's not doing too good. Portugal's, no, Portugal's not doing definitely too good. not doing good. And you want to move back there, bro? What the hell? I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Stay in Canada. Stay in Canada. It's nice weather. Hey, it's safe here. <laughs> no, Portugal, no, no. Portugal is kind of like the Canada of Spain. Is, is that a appropriate <laughs> yeah, I think, analogy? Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, I think you're right about that. We're sort of like the the nicer, less aggressive people to the west yeah. <laughs> of Spain instead of to the north of the states. But I would it's not dangerous, by the way. It's not like... Uh, it's just economically they're not doing so well. But if you have a job, then you're good. Cool. But anyway, yeah, these Arma guys, these poor guys, man. So, I wonder... 
so wait, Daisy. Okay, Why, are these guys responsible for Arma or for Daisy? For Arma, the Daisy Arma. people yeah. made well, the, is, it, they they basically made the mod. Or these guys made you know Arma. There's the other guys who made Daisy that okay. are specifically making Daisy. Right, which is going to be like a standalone. Yeah, yeah. Now so, that it's a standalone, I mean, who even cares? I care. But <laughs> there's also a new Daisy mod coming. Called Daisy 2017. It's supposed to take place five years after the original Daisy mod that makes zombies less military and more like homeless people. <laughs> so, so this is the standalone that they're making. No, this, this is no. this is part of the the Daisy yeah. mod for Arma 2. But oh. I, I, I can see this being implemented in the standalone. So the current version of Daisy is going to become a standalone, and this is going to be a mod. Right? Well, yeah. That's really I agree. confusing. It's, it's kind of silly. <laughs> I, I don't know like I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the standalone. I haven't I haven't read anything about it being in the standalone. I could be could be blind and I don't read properly. Just... But the guy that made Daisy, he's an employee of the Arma people now, right? He oh now he, he was. He I know he was. Yeah. I don't know if he is anymore though. Did he? St- I, I don't I don't know if they still work with Bohemian Interactive, but I I know he used to be an employee there. I thought they hired him to make Daisy an official standalone. Maybe they hired him back. Oh, well, okay. Your game's awesome. Come back. Come work. Either way, again. this this Daisy twenty seventeen seems more like the zombie apocalypse I always imagine. Well, I mean, like the there's only so Daisy. much you could do in in the Arma two mod because I mean, like you're limited to the skins and everything. But in, with this in the Daisy mod, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Because it's well, based the, the, on the military shooter. Yeah. Yeah. See, the DayZ mod, it's all about like getting weapons and ammo and stuff. Like, I want, I want a mod where you have to just focus more on survival and not just getting the biggest weapon and then flying helicopters over, <laughs> over some, <laughs> some island or it's something. It's never about that for me. I don't know where you got that mentality. But the ability is there to do it. Yeah. But I which mean, which is silly to me. Are you, are you saying in real life you wouldn't want to try and get? Haven't a helicopter? you seen The Walking Dead? They're flying helicopters. Yeah, that's true. But those are actual military personnel. Spoiler alert. That was a couple episodes ago, right? Yeah, that was. Yeah, two should be okay. Episodes. Well, every time I watch that show, I have to constantly be like uh, zipping my lips tight because I've I've read all the comics, so I know what's going to happen for like years and years to come. Oh. See, I have, uh, I'm, I'm slow when it comes to reading. I, I've read like half of the the first first uh big book of, of the big the compendium of thing yeah yeah the first volume i should say yeah they just did something crazy in this show the other day uh the last one went the, with the phone ringing but who was phone i haven't gotten to that part yet you don't know okay i won't i won't spoil it because there's a lot of people who have not read the comic literally in the comics is, i just got up to the jail part. it is one of the um the defining moments of the whole series oh i'm excited we're going to find out tonight's episode, aren't we? Most likely. <sighs> Actually, yesterday's episode. <laughs> yesterday's episode. Play with yesterday's. time. Yesterday. <laughs> that, that brings up a question. Have you guys, I don't know if this has come up before, have you guys ever uh, thought about streaming this podcast live instead of recording it? I, I'd like to try that once. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about these guys, not, though. Yeah, we could because it's well, not you like we... You could stream it. And then put it on and YouTube upload it, the yeah. next day or something. That's actually not a bad idea because it's not like we heavily edit these things. No, we we basically no, it's just the, just... the ad revenue is, is going towards the server, though. Isn't yeah, it? that's the thing. That we'll still put it up on YouTube. Yeah, but a lot of people watch might it get less views. But live. oh, I doubt it. Like, I mean, if you stream, how many people do you think are going to watch or listen to it? Like five hundred, maybe. Maybe. So are you serious? Are you serious? I think there'd be more than five hundred. What if we all tweeted it out? I'm pretty sure we'd get a, like. Possibly up to two thousand. Well, I'm trying to like. Okay, how much does the the Shaft podcast usually get? Um, depends uh, on who's the guest. Oh, but then we've got to deal with all the chat <clears throat> windows and stuff as well. Like, we yeah, can't, that's true. No, <laughs> we, we, could, can't we can't give it a shot ourselves. Well, <laughs> we can't even. I mean, I, I love the guys over at the Shaft podcast, but I just don't think they're as recognized as like you know, like if if you're like okay, the Shaft Ooh, they, or they, Minecraft, they don't have eleven thousand subscribers, do they? <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. But I mean, you know what I mean, oh, right? I, I mean, missed that joke. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Okay, so back on topic. Um, speaking of shooters, by the way, Call of Duty 
has made five hundred million. You know what, Zisto? We always have these perfect segues, and then the guest always has to come in and say segue, and then it's not no longer perfect. You're ruining segue ruined. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Call of yeah. Duty has made five hundred million dollars on the first day of sales, Jeez, and that, that makes me an sad. awfully large amount of money. It is an awfully large amount of money. That's half a billion <laughs> for the mathematically challenged out there. I don't hate Call of Duty, but the fact cool. that these ten million series, copies. Um. Yeah. Yeah. They're about fifty bucks. Yeah. Ten million copies. No, they're they're about sixty bucks. Okay. Nine million copies. Either way, roughly, yeah, roughly nine million copies. Nine to ten million. But what I'm trying to say is, um, I like Call of Duty, but the fact that it sells so much does not uh, does not force companies to like come up with new franchises. That's no, why we get. That's we why get you get copycats. Same old rehashed franchises, because they make five hundred million dollars on the first day of sales. Yep. The moral of the story is. Stop buying Call of Duty, kids. <laughs> well, I'm with you, but I think it's just the hive mind, you know? It's just everyone, oh my god, Black Ops, Sickle Jerk, oh my god. Having said that, though, it's been getting great reviews, the game itself. I can't. Well, that happens every year with the Call of Duties. People love it for, like, the first month, and then everyone hates it for three months, and then for, like, the rest of the year, everyone can't wait for the next one, or they're playing the one before. See, I, I, I played every single one, and honestly... Like, recently, it, it looks like Black Ops 2 is taking a step in the right direction with what they're, with, what they're doing for, like, online gameplay and everything. It's not the game. fact that the game's bad. It's the fact that it's full of 14-year-olds calling you a douche faggot. <laughs> not, not on PC, bro. <laughs> not on PC. Not on P- I don't know. I... I, I I play You're going to play it, though, right? I, um, I'm not going to put it up on YouTube. Right, really, right. But I, I, I do play it, yeah. I haven't had time, though, because I'm just, like, getting ready for a freaking Minecon. And you're three hours behind all the time. Yeah. You guys leave Wednesday for that? Yeah. How long are you guys going to be gone? A week? I'm going till December 1st, because Good and I are going to go go chill and be all French with one another. <laughs> Sweet. you just going to be in France, or are you going uh, anywhere we're, else? We're going to be going to London and everything, too, so... I, you're going to meet up with the Badge. Trip. Yeah, we're going to meet up with Badge, and I know we're going to be doing, like, a, a, a group meet up and everything. Yeah, we're gonna do lines too. I'm pretty sure that cocaine. If you're there. meeting up with Badge, it's Badge. You... Well, wait, did you? Because <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard your stories, man. I've never done coke. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is, as soon as we go out there, you're gonna hook us up with some blow. <laughs> so I'm just taking a turn. <laughs> My yeah, I know all the best places to score in, in, in a large city that I haven't been in for 10 years that's 250 miles away from my house. Yeah, I should, should be able to pick you up easily. Some memory you've got there. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> um, so, moving on, I guess. Project Greenlight. Does somebody want to explain what that is? Because uh, I'm not exactly entirely sure what it is. <laughs> I know it has to do with Steam. We, we've talked about it before, I'm pretty right. sure. It's basically where the community votes up you know, certain games and everything, and right. then it'll become available on Steam. So, so is, it, just a bit. is it similar to Kickstarter just without money? Yeah, that's probably. I, I guess that's a good analogy. Yeah. So the Slender Source and I guess this faceless mod for Slender or something has been it's, removed from Project Greenlight. Yeah, apparently there's been like some copyright issues over um, Slenderman and everything. But he says that he's had permission from the Slenderman creator. It's yeah. a free to use entity. It's a case of he says, Steam says. He says, Steam says. That's yeah, fun but if the to creator say. says you can do it, then you're pretty much covered, aren't you? I guess so. I well, mean, is that it, the it only says problem? that they have they have to prove that they have permission. But I don't. I, do they have written consent from the guy? Or did it, is it just yeah, verbal it be consent? Too difficult. Yeah. No, but. I don't know. I, I I know I talked about, you know, the the Slenderman source with you, Badge, didn't we? I'm fairly certain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sad to see that go. Oh, well, it 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 doesn't say it's like you know banned forever. They just like I said, they have to prove that they have the the permission to do it and everything. I've never been a big fan of the Slender anyway, so. No, it it seems like with the games, Slenderman is recently. Kind of I didn't up. realize that was something someone made up recently. I thought it was sort of an older legend. 
think it is. It is, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so wh- who? Wh- why do they need to get uh, permission from somebody if it's been around for a long time? Shouldn't it be well, not, public not, domain? Not super long, but I mean, like, it's not like, you know, l- last year it came up. Hmm. I, I, I'm with... I'm with Zisto. I thought it. I thought it'd been like an old wives' tale for years and years. Yeah, like, has it? Like know. the Chupacabra. <laughs> I just remember reading it on a, a website. Uh, it just seems to have been out of nowhere for me. Really? Huh? I've never heard of it before. Then all of a sudden, bang! There he is. Yeah, Speaking it's... of never hearing about things before, <laughs> <laughs> this Star Citizen. By the way, I think you put this on here, right, Zisto? I did. Yeah. I watched the video, and I have to say, it's crazy. I'm excited. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, it does it is it sells the product pretty well, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I I I donated after I watched the video. How much yeah, did you I did back? too. It's the only thing I've ever kickstarted. How I much think did you I punch? gave I gave sixty bucks, which gives me access to the beta and the alpha. That's all I really wanted. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I may have done a little more. I think I got a spaceship or something, but I I'm basically Oh no, no, yeah, access. yeah. I got the spaceship too. I I just remembered it's yeah. I get a spaceship and access to the beta and alpha. So I'm, I'm oh man. Did you guys watch the video? I've watched it a while ago, but I just haven't had time to really. Well, the, in before it, busy jokes. It's the Think. little thing like him uh, when you when you move the spaceship, the guy in the cockpit like yeah. actually hits the buttons and moves the the uh, the joystick or whatever. To I love mm-hmm. things like that. And when you enter the spaceship, you actually see the guy climbing into the spaceship. It's the details that matter. Yeah. But it's, a, like, it's made almost $5 million in crowdsourcing. Uh, it says $1.6 million. In, That's through Kickstarter, Kickstarter, though. Yeah, they've got... Um, they, I, don't, I don't know where the other crowdsourcing is coming from, but they're almost at $5 million. Yeah, $4.5 million. They've, they've <laughs> combined crowdfund is four point five. I think million. that's a record for a game. Um, uh, that, uh, the Black Isle Studios project... Eternity or whatever, the Baldur's Gate engine they're yeah. trying to do. Project Infinity, is that it? Yeah. That one made a lot too. Did did it make more than five million? No, I th- I don't think so. Hmm. I could yeah. Never mind. Well, if you want to do a kick if you want to kickstart this thing and get access to the alpha and beta, I'm pretty sure it ends tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. twenty two hours to go. So basically so, I don't it will it probably will be ended by then. Is it gonna be a pay to play pay no. to play, pay, pay to win? No. <laughs> I don't right, think so, but it is right going to be like, says, a, like an MMO. Um, real quick, Star Citizen is a rich universe focused on epic space adventure, trading and dogfighting in first person, single player offline or online, drop in, drop out, co-op gameplay, persistent universe hosted by them, a moddable multiplayer for, by us, no subscriptions, no pay to win. Oh, I love that, no pay to win. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. often say that. <laughs> but you can buy hats. <laughs> so I I just like to say Project Eternity has three million nine hundred eighty six thousand nine hundred twenty nine on Kickstarter. I don't know if they have any. That's other... a lot. That's I... a lot. Yeah. Yet I don't know if they have any more people backing so, them. So was this the uh, the way of the future for v- game design Segway. Now? Segway. I uh, yeah stole your mojo. <laughs> before before we do go on, yep. um, this Star Citizen. It's November 2014 it's coming out. Yeah. Jesus. That's a long time, time man. You need time to make a great game. I would rather wait the two years than to, you know, have something like the other game we were talking about last week. Where they work the, the on the dead linger. It's a crap video. <laughs> oh, my God. That turns everybody off. I think um, Skyrim was in development for, like, what, five years or something before they unveiled it? Yeah, it uh, good games take a long time, but it's that's before of, they unveiled it. That, that a lot of programming and art resources to make, and I like to stay and, hidden, or I, I don't like to know. I like to keep it private until they're really close. Yeah, because then you wait in anticipation. Like fuck, take, it's, it's still 2012. This sucks. Yeah, <laughs> gotta wait true. literally two more years still. Still, I'm I'm already excited. I'm gonna be excited for two straight years now. <laughs> Gonna wake up in the morning, <laughs> cross it an X on your freaking calendar. I'm yes, one day closer. <laughs> Seven hundred more days. My little guy's gonna be wiggling that joystick and making the ship turn, <laughs> and then I'm gonna play the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the the alpha and beta, which we can get into now, should be sooner than that. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. the alpha will come out like a long time. Or I, I know it, but the close. alpha is at least not sweet. dead lingerish. Yes. Oh man, it scares me so much. Or or 
War Z. Ugh. Well, the War Z Alpha actually looked good. No. The gameplay was kind of... It was shit. Not good. It was but anyway, shit. moving on. So yeah, like Z still said, is this the way of the future? Are like community-funded or community-contributed con- community things... The way of the future. I think <laughs> well, we have think to about, see like, how they go, don't we? Because we've had a few ups and a few downs so far. So think about how, just how crazy, like YouTube and having like a hundred thousand subscribers or ten thousand followers on Twitter. Like you can write a Twitter message, and ten thousand people are going to see it. That's crazy. Like yeah, fifteen and years ago, that would that would have been impossible. Absolutely. Only going through like legitimate media, I, I could see yeah. reaching that many people. I just, yeah. um, I just uh, finished a fan art contest, and I had people who submitted from like Canada, the United States, from Brazil, from Finland, from New Zealand. I got a mail guide T-shirts to New Zealand because he won. That's cool. That's crazy. How much and is the postage? Um, I I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> it was more than the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> the art that you got sent, though, was amazing. Oh, yeah. There's a yeah, lot of great was, art there. Uh, I started it out thinking, oh, I may get one or two kind of cool designs, and it was I was pretty blown away. I was with community. So you basically you, you did this contest for shirt designs, right? Yeah, and um, I can also use them for, like, uh, YouTube backgrounds, that kind of stuff. See, I'm, I'm curious. Did you have to, like, say you have to give me, like, explicit permission to use this? or like? Yeah, there – I did uh, – put a contract which i totally screwed <laughs> i'd never done anything like this before i totally screwed up the contract i mailed i emailed everyone a uh, an adobe um pdf contract that was already like signed and locked so nobody could sign it and everybody emails me back like uh i can't i think i'm doing something wrong and it was my fault the whole time <laughs> But, yeah, there was a contract. It's mostly protect them in case someone steals their art or something. Because I've, I've had uh, problems with copyright before with YouTube. And I just, I'm really paranoid about it now. Yeah. Beef's the same. Oh, not Steve anymore. Steve for Steve. What about that one that recently came up? Oh, no, yeah. Like, uh, I think he's talking about where YouTube bugs him about having uh, permission oh, for something. Oh, like, like right? the, the, the song from, uh, when he, I, I forget which series. It was Legendary. Yeah, it's Legendary. Yeah. Yeah, For me, I, it's, I license classical music, which is in the public domain, and an individual recording of classical music is copyrighted. But like all the different recordings of a given piece sound exactly alike, so YouTube like screws up, mm-hmm. like who has the rights to uh, to a piece of classical music all the time, and it's uh, there are companies out there that purposely exploit the system because they know that like YouTube is so automated they can't really do anything about it. Yep. Keep so. that thought in mind because we'll be coming back to that. Oh, sure. Copyrights. Yep. Um, copyrights. Moving on. The new Walking Dead. What is this, episode five coming episode out? Episode five. Yep. Is this the last episode? Uh, rearranged the links. We could have had a better yeah. segue. That's okay. We'll come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> the um, yeah, episode five is coming out soon. I think uh, in a couple weeks, isn't it? I think next week for PS3 and Xbox. Uh, November twenty first for for the Xbox and three sixty. So that's in three days. Yep, that makes sense. And then I, I know that the the PC version sadly will be updated a little bit later. I know myself and Good, we we both have our laptops, so we'll, we're gonna actually take some time out in uh, Paris to record that because a lot of people always bug us. When's the next episode? It's like, dude, when it releases. Okay, you ever think about you just buying it? Just on sit a- next to each other when you're recording it. So <laughs> I've never so, no, played any of those, but I've read all the comics. I watched the TV show and whatnot. Is there any overlap with the uh, the main storyline? Uh, Glenn was in the very first episode, and oh. you, you, you get to see him beforehand, before he runs off to Atlanta to find his, uh, friends in that. Mm-hmm. But everything else is pretty much... That's it? Yeah, that's like, it, it takes place in the, in the same world, but basically it's just different characters. Uh-huh. So, Are they in a different location? Uh, yes, right now, like, right now, for the current episode, we're in a place called Savannah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's nowhere near where like the walking dead episode or like the tv series is south carolina sure i forget where savannah is dude's backyard is that georgia i don't remember georgia yes georgia yeah savannah georgia atlanta isn't it 
Didn't they start in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, yeah, they started in Atlanta, but then they, they decided to go down to the ocean and try and get a boat and okay. sail away. Huh. But yeah, it's coming out soon, so look forward to that. Stop asking Paws and, <laughs> and Goo to play these games because it's not even out yet. Literally, like, if people watch the series, like they say they do, they're like, oh my god, it's such a great episode. You will hear me say, don't ask for another episode. It's going to be a month before the next episode for the game releases. Literally so when you guys um, get out your laptops to record, are you gonna have like um, you gonna co- record in the same room? Yeah, pro- well, probably not. I'll... Maybe hold hands. Yeah. Do you I have had... the save games though on those laptops? Um, or does I'm, it save I'm... it to the Steam automatically? I'm gonna look because I I have a Dropbox, so if I can find the saved game, I'm gonna do that. Otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna run should. into the Otherwise, same problem we'll... I ran into on my new PC. And basically what happened was I had to start all over and I was like, screw this. So I just randomly generated the first episode. But then after that, it was all after it was all me. Yeah, I saved Doug the very the first time. Story. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because in in the second episode, you save. Uh, well, what happened to me through the generated storyline was I saved the girl. I think her name was Carla. I could be mistaken. It's, it's been a while since I looked at Carly. That. I think it was Carly. Carly. Yes. So I'm wondering if. If uh, if I save Doug, would I have fallen in love with him? <laughs> because, maybe because that's what that's what happens when you save Doug. You know, maybe a little little bromance kind of reaches the next the next little stage in that in that. Yeah, never mind. So hmm. speaking of next stages, the Republicans I think are uh, onto their next stage of trying to win people over because they did Sweet so segue. poorly in the last election. That was a pretty good segue, I think. Because they did so poorly in the last election, I think they're going to try to attack the youth vote or try to get the youth vote by attacking copyright laws. So they put by the out. Way, what? Um, I just want to interrupt you extremely rudely right there. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Go ahead. Go ahead. R- really? <laughs> oh, wow. Really? What an no, asshole. Joe, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I lost um, my train of thought. It's over. I'm leaving. Republicans <laughs> are sucking up to the younglings. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, this is well, what I. There's no. That's, yeah, there's no proof that that's no, what. No, no. Why they're doing it? This is why um, I think they're doing it. Because they need to get that somewhere. Is woken up. Yeah. So basically, they put out, um, I guess, a statement, uh, just claiming why copyright laws actually destroy markets, and uh, they wanted to try to like reform copyright laws. Um, but then they retracted it. <laughs> well, it's it's it's, it's interesting because. You know, it's had to go through lots of vetting and, and whatever before it gets published, mm-hmm. and it went through that. And it's 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 very good. It's popping three myths: um, the myth that the purpose of copyright is to compensate the creator; that copyright is a representation of free market capitalization; and the current copyright regime leads to the greatest level of innovation and productivity. And basically, poo poos all of those, <laughs> rightly. Um, poo poo. And then it goes on to ask for statutory damages reform because it is ridiculous um, uh, the government sets a range which is 750 to thirty thousand dollars per infringement but that goes up to hundred and fifty thousand dollars if the infringement is willful and pretty much every time one of these things gets to court the content yeah. holder says it's willful so you're getting these ludicrous fines coming out um, expand fair use that's great for uh, us punish false copyright claims which is saying what we're going back to what uh, they were saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm owed some money then. Yeah, uh, they said um, it needs to be subject subject to bad faith in order to be sanctioned for false takedown requests. So they need to prove these people are doing it spitefully, which is what a lot of them are doing, aren't they, really? Um, and then heavily limit the terms for copyright and create disincentives for renewal. Because... Um, you know, a lot of people are just continually renewing their copyrights when there should be some sort of way to stop them doing that. So it's, it's generally quite a good document. But Very as you good. say, yeah, 24 hours later, <laughs> it was repealed and it's alleged that it's the MPAA and the RIAA have yeah. put pressure on, Hollywood has put pressure on them, basically. Hollywood now saw saying, that amazing <laughs> document and forced them to take it down. So what are yeah. they saying in that situation? <laughs> We're just joking, fuck you. Yeah, well, he the, said, uh, oh, yeah, we, we didn't review it properly. It wasn't really an official document. Sorry, it shouldn't have gone out, blah, blah, blah. The renewing copyrights thing is kind of crazy. There's all these, like, 
battles going on behind the scenes. You know, they the reason they rebooted the Spider-Man movie franchise so soon is because they were going to lose the copyright, Sony was, and it was going to revert back to Marvel. And so they mm. have to keep churning out movies to renew their copyright. Otherwise, they lose crap. this like billion-dollar industry. Same thing with... Um, I think they're trying to hold on to Fantastic Four's Fox has that or something. Oh. And Apple just... Um, did you see Apple's patent for the page swipe animation? No. Nope. They just released this image. Let me see if I can find God it. God damn it, Zisto. We were on a <laughs> roll. We, we were on a roll not to talk about it this episode. It's like the what, fifth Apple? episode. Yes, it's like the fifth episode. Maybe even longer. I think we've been talking about it like every single episode. <laughs> I specifically went out of my way to not get any Apple. Well, it it wouldn't be a Minecraft podcast without a little Apple. Yeah, that's back. true, right? I mean, it's it's, be, it's become part of our our schedule now. Man, a video really went at them last last. Uh, <laughs> last podcast. There you go. There's a new uh, link there. Okay, you see that? The page pan, the page turn pan. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> they they have to patent that. Good, good, good podcast. Good podcast. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. This will be this will be in the in the link. So yeah, people yeah, are curious. The I the, think uh, they're going to be like um, either them or Starbucks are going to be Skynet. You can't paint them that. Like Apple iPhones are just going to start like killing people and. <laughs> sure, you can. It's the virtual one. In real life, yeah, you can't. I was making these in Flash six years ago. Well, you, you better it, bro. <laughs> file a lawsuit then. It's Apple. I mean, they're they're getting. <sighs> Never mind. They are an evil empire. They are. Who's yeah. fucking letting these people... I mean, surely the thing about when you patent something is somebody in the patent office checks to see that this shit doesn't already exist. Badger's getting upset. I don't think that's important. Not not to these guys. They have the, they have all the money, yes. so whatever. Prior art is is something that makes all these legal claims fold, isn't it? Well, maybe it like during like way? maybe during like one very slow frame, you see like a smiley face, and that's totally different. So then, yeah, they could pay, patent that one. Patent. I was gonna say patent. Oh. Listen to me. The, the New York Times points out that this isn't the first seemingly obvious patent that Apple has been awarded. There you go. That's yeah. The point. That's fucking nonsense. They're paying point someone. Is, Apple is terrible. Allegedly. Um. <laughs> So, yeah, but going back to this um, copyright thing, they're saying that now the Re Republicans have dropped it, it's, it's left this hot topic sitting there that the Democrats could pick up and run with. Yes, please, President Obama. Please, I know Obama. you're listening. <laughs> we know you're a huge fan of the buy crack group, so please <laughs> keep, us <laughs> keep us free. Keep us free. Man, it was such a good document, too, but. Hollywood decided to, that it's too dangerous. It tried to obliterate its existence from the internet, but it's still out there. I think it's just a matter of time, anyway. Just a matter of time. People will see the light, won't they, guys? I think I think people do see the light. It's the fact that the people that are in charge are getting these you know, pressure and well, yeah, there's financial pressure, particularly from Hollywood. It makes me sad. Hollywood Maybe should stay the fuck out of the government. <laughs> Kickstarter. <laughs> we should Kickstarter copyright reform. Yeah, <laughs> the game we'll change the way things are done. You're gonna Available be able to November see your character in game, battling copyright reform. <laughs> Any company that backs the movie of Twilight should not tell people how to <laughs> do copyright laws. I'm sorry, your movies suck. Get the fuck out, Hollywood. GTFO. And on that note, it's time for some questions <laughs> from Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Christians from Hollywood. I was just playing to the missus the other day how that Twilight film is just completely pointless because he can't have babies. You know, what I, dead. You know what I absolutely love about that is Robert Pattinson fucking hates the movies. Does he, he fucking know? hates them. Just just go online, like just just search any interview that he does. He hates the movies. Well then it's good to see he's got some integrity. He still makes them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he's also dating that miserable bitch. So he's clearly is he? Young. I thought they broke up a while ago. They did, yeah. Didn't they? God, yeah. You gotta stay current, oh, bro. Why do you even know that? Just Twilight as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> questions? Yeah, let's do some questions. Right. This one doesn't have a name. I can see it. Sorry if this has been asked before. I've noticed that when Beef does his beefy tune and Badge does his beats, spelt like beat tree, they always seem to choose indie stroke lesser known artists. 
for all of you, what's your favourite band, regardless of how popular they are or your musical style? Or their musical style. Um, favourite band. I hate questions like this because you don't. I don't have a band that you can't really choose band. one. I mean, he did say Pearl oh, Jam was his favourite, which is probably why he didn't leave a name. <laughs> oh, burn! Burn! <laughs> that just burns you, question guy. Um, uh, favorite band? Sisto, do you have one? Um, you have a favorite think, music genre? Yeah, I listen to a, a lot of stuff. Like everybody always says, well, I listen to a lot of stuff except for country. <laughs> Seems to is, be isn't like that what like, everyone says? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, but it's um, true. I think something like uh, the Flaming Lips typifies the type of music I like to listen to pretty well. Mm -hmm. The Flaming Lips is a good example. That's good. <laughs> if I had to say just one, which is what the question is. Yeah stated um i don't know if i have a favorite band man i just listen to all kinds of stuff uh, most okay well, it doesn't have to be a band it could be an artist the last six months probably let's go with the last six months <laughs> then. Thanks, <'cause>, pause. yeah <laughs> could be an artist well, be, last six you, months i've probably listened the same to band band implies more than one i probably listen to mostly block party i still listen to a lot the strokes i listen to a lot um <laughs> Not as much anymore, but I still do listen to them. Bash, jerk. <laughs> Making fun of Mumford and Sons. Um, it, it, it's so hard to pick. If I remember anymore, I'll tell you guys. But in the meantime, pause. Go ahead. What's uh, your favorite band? It doesn't have to be a band. It could be an artist. B44, uh, Boys to Men. <laughs> All <of> very <laughs> good, good bands. <laughs> no. Uh, honestly, like the, the person that I've been listening to for, for as long, like for... Like most of this year has been childish Gambino. Oh man, okay, guy. that's good. Oh, Purity Ring too. I've been listening to a lot lately. And Baj knows Purity Ring. Mm -hmm. He actually I've suggested, been... yeah, one of his yeah. Uh, vegetables. <laughs> Baj's vegetables. <laughs> one of my beet treats. I, I I listen to a lot of a lot of different genres um, apart from country. And. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a favourite band. Yeah, you know? I mean, this this the old, old reliables you go back to, like yeah. your Pink Floyd's and your Led Zeppelin's and who and things like that, because I'm old. Um, but I, I, the thing about music is it shouldn't be about you know, who it is. It's about what it what it makes you feel, isn't it? And, right. Uh, I don't really it's care what what the genre is. No, I think most so. Beautiful things you've ever said. Because I, I, you know. There's there's some songs that I like that you know I wouldn't admit in public, but it's a nice <laughs> it's a nice tune. Any examples? Well, yeah, like, give an example. Come on, we won't tell Bieber, anyone. Bieber tunes. Yeah. Okay. One second. Okay, the recording's done. Uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> he totally stopped recording. Bash. He totally stopped. <laughs> I'm winking like... at the uh, the non-existing <laughs> camera right now. <laughs> oh Christ! I'm trying to think. What's what's the name of that bald guy that used to be in Genesis? Oh, Gabriel? seriously, Phil Collins? Phil Collins. <laughs> yeah. Not Peter Gabriel. a Phil Collins track I like, you know? I knew I'm there was something that. wrong with you. Hey, I like but, the Gangnam Style song. Is, is something wrong with me? Yes. Yep. I really like that song. I still, I'll admit still it. it. I, 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 like, I can see why people like it, but I don't understand why like everyone loves it. Like, no, no. It's always one of those summer holiday things, isn't yeah. it? I think that people saw it when they're in the pubs in Spain or whatever. Oh, you know how to but, do the uh, Gangnam Style dance. Oh, my God. If you want to know what I like, then watch my videos with my tunes on. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Bang. So, uh, hey guys, I go by Swamp. Hey Swamp. And, uh, I have a few questions for. No, maybe maybe he lives in the bayou or something. Maybe he drives by a swamp. Maybe or he drives, is a swamp. A swamp. <laughs> um, number one, what did you want to be when you grew up? We'll do these one at a time. Mm. I've always wanted to do something with like animals, like veterinary, but I, I slacked <laughs> off in school. So thank God you added that to the end of it. Oh uh, like, no! I, I was <laughs> I like, do something with animals. This is too easy. Um, what did I want to be when I grew Everyone up? Everyone has fucking dreams, okay, guys. You don't have to shit on them. <laughs> what did you want to be? Bat beef? What did you want to be? No, we're not. We're not. We're laughing because of the way you phrased it, not because you wanted to be a vet. You said Shh. I've always wanted to do something with animals. 
It sounded sexual. <laughs> no, like veterinary. <laughs> God. That's why we're laughing. Oh, about. okay. You guys are. Veterinary work is noble work, man. You guys are gross. Stop I it. I commend you. I don't remember what I wanted to be when I grew up. Definitely not this. <laughs> not even the cliche firefighter or police officer. I'm sure that came up sometimes. I wanted to be a police marksman for a very long time. Police marksman? Yeah. yeah. What's, what's a marksman? Like, well. In, in these countries where we don't all run around with guns. Okay, well, I, I didn't <laughs> know that. I'm, just, the I'm asking a legitimate question. Like, do they do they actually... They, uh, they, what do you, well, like, you marksmen like with? Okay. Just throw your nightstick? They're like, they're like SWAT, you know. They, they come in for the armed sieges, and then, you know, they've got sniper rifles, and they go up on the roof. And <laughs> throw their bat stick. Like, hold it up a bank. Fuck off, my <laughs> 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 Uh, when, when I was really young, I wanted to be a car designer. But that's when I was like a kid, like really, really young. I would just like draw cars and and think I was going to be like the best car designer ever. Like Homer. Yeah, like Homer. <laughs> 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 this car needs a bubble <laughs> and a cucaracha horn. <laughs> that's just what. What did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I had any. Idea, ambition. yeah. <laughs> no ambition. I don't, not that. I just it was. It wasn't really something I thought about. Really, I was playing with Legos and making snow forts and shit, and I, I wasn't really thinking about. It looks like you're. Looks like you're. Part. You're what you wanted to be. You're building with adult Legos. That's true. Dun, da, 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 da. Number two, Bash. Are Patch and Nvidia ever going to play something together? The harp. Yes, yes. <laughs> we, 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 we will do it at some point. He, he's, he's going through a co-phase at the moment, so wait for that. A <laughs> co-phase. A co-phase. <laughs> um, have you ever heard of the Time Splitters HD collection? I have. No. This sounds very... What? This is a really random question. Not really. Uh, basically, what... what there, there's this discussion that, uh, you know, if there's like 10,000 people who signed this petition, they'd make a Time Splitters HD collection. I don't even think it's remotely close to that. I've never played. I, I know what Time Splitters is. I've heard of it. I've just never played it myself, so it doesn't. Oh, it's a game. To me. Yeah. Okay. It says here three hundred thousand signatures. Wow, that's a little more than ten thousand. Oh wait, I mean a hundred thousand, not ten thousand. Okay. Ten thousand would be tiny for a game. It's like, hey, there's ten thousand of you. Let's let's start this mass production on an HD collection. Time Splitters was fun. That, that was the light gun one, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Mrs. used to really enjoy. Those. In fact, if we go to an arcade and old Time Splitters machine still in there, she's still. I always remember going to the store, seeing Time Splitters, and then thinking, yes! And then I was like, no, I'm thinking of Time Crisis, the arcade game. Yeah, same thing now, don't really. Number four. Number four. Oh, number four. <laughs> going to buy the Wii U. As I say, no, there is no Time Splitters 4, you're right. <laughs> Are you going to buy the Wii U? Well, yes. I think we've covered most of that. We? Yep. Yes, for no. me, yes, for pause. And what about you guys? Nope. No one, no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Don't have nope. to say it so nope. emphatically. Nope. <laughs> Five <laughs> is a definite no. Fuck that. Should I subscribe to Batman? Yeah, well, of no. course you bloody no. No, no, no. I'll say no, no on no. that one. Maybe if he Fuck starts you. making videos. Oh, what a bird. Oh, stop. <laughs> I make videos all the time, and they're great. And people that do watch them love them. Well, then keep making the video for those guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have man. to subscribe to me to make me want to video them. Come on, subscribe. Uh, Jake says, hi, Burge and the others. Do you celebrate Christmas? If you do, what do you guys want for Christmas? What's your best Christmas like? Okay, I guess we're going to take this one at a time. <laughs> Okay, number oh, one. What, what do you think of the separation of Christmas? Right, so, do you celebrate Christmas? Yes. 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 No, wait, wait, let, let me okay. put it this way, okay? I'm not religious. Next point of order. I'm not religious, but I celebrate, you know, just getting together family and all that. Same here, same here. Yeah, that's what I like it for. I, I mean, he, he talks about what do you think of the secularization of Christmas. Christmas as it exists has nothing to do with what it's quote-unquote based on anyway. No, right, right, giving no, no. presents under a tree, Santa shows up, there's elves, yeah. the North Pole. That has nothing to do with, you know, the mast of Christ or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, the tree's a 150 years old tradition from Germany. The um, Santa Claus is Polish, I believe. 
Yes. Yeah, it's just it's just it's East European. Uh, um, it's it's a winter festival. It's pagan. Uh, another, and Christ, another pagan if, if you holiday, believe in Christ being co-opted. Oh even God. Christ being born, he wasn't born on the 20, 25th of December anyway, so it's, right. it's complete nonsense. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I should bite my tongue for this, but I, I, I'm probably going to get pooped on here, but I hate Think how again. every... Take a second or two. <sighs> no, no, oh God. <sighs> All right, go one out. It. Come on, try yeah. <laughs> Basically, like everyone poop, is like poop, oversensitive on. about everything, and now for Christmas, there's no such thing as gingerbread men that you can buy stores as gingerbread people because yeah, it's, it's too sexist. That, that's the, the political correctness. Oh, like Guys genitalia, could they be gingerbread men? Yeah, <laughs> with gingerbread penises. Let's start this. They could be gingerbread pauses. <laughs> Why would you do that? But no, I, I don't know. Pe- stuff like that is just that bothers me. Yeah, yeah, and how you can't say Christmas, statement. you have to say Happy Holidays. Yeah, it's like, dude, fuck off. I don't know. It's like people say, you know, bless you. It's like it's it's the same as that. It's like, are you be like, fuck off? I'm not religious. It's like it's just you know, it's it's a polite thing to say. You know, I don't know. Tolerance. Yeah. yeah. And and this is coming from a guy who's not religious in any way, shape, or form. It's just I don't know. It's just people being polite. You know. They're Number not like, two. Pelting you with we do. Bad we bad all bad. celebrate Christmas. What do we want for Christmas? Oh, oh, I got. I got a great answer. Actually, I want a new mouse for Christmas because the mouse I got last Christmas is broken. I'm gonna get you a mouse. Really? You're you're really funky. Yeah, the Rat Seven. Shape. It broke. Just, really? Just uh, just yesterday. Actually, it started every time I clicked once. It was double clicking. I cleaned it and everything, and and you know did did what I needed to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't get that. Then a year yeah, use out of a mouse, but it lasted for less than a year, eleven months. Jeez, it lasted. I was honestly looking at that mouse too. It's really cool looking. Just uh, it's broken already. Yep, I went for the really really bland looking one that is really high quality. I wonder if there's a warranty on it still. I'm I'm pretty sure there's, there'll be like a manufacturer's warranty because typically, like in the store, it's like a year or something like that. What uh, what company was it again? It was a Cyborg Rat Seven mouse that Cyborg. I Cyborg. Yeah. Mm. I, I got it because well, I asked for it because it looked really cool. Well, I, I like it because you can adjust it to your your. Palm. Yeah, there's a lot of adjustability to it. Your weight, the width. Yep. It's, it's there's it's even cool. like thumb rests and pinky rests and stuff. It's. You can't adjust it to work, though. Nope, you can't adjust it to work. <laughs> so that's what I want for Christmas, a new mouse. Again. I don't Yeah, know. the the things I like are either so expensive no one can get them for me, or they're yep. so inexpensive I just buy them for myself. So I, I end up, usually end up getting alcohol for Christmas. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Same I, with Batch? I want, I want a really good electric razor, but I know it's really bizarre. I've never Do they exist, one. though? Yeah, but they're really expensive, and I can't validate spending 150 quid on an electric razor. See, I spent yeah. like 80 bucks on an electric razor. It sucks ass. I just went exactly. back to the straight razor. Just go to the straight I've razor. I've never tried an electric razor. I've never gotten like a close shave. You always get yeah, like... Yeah, they, they, they don't seem to work on my face. Maybe my beard is just <laughs> too soft or something. It, 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 it always, there's always one patch. You like freaking just like scrub it up and down. It, it, don't, it never shaves. It's like, yeah. dude, yeah. what the hell? My dad has been using them religiously for like 20 years or something. He says it takes a while for your face to adjust to them or something. And <laughs> What is I, it? What? I don't know what that means. But like <laughs> I've got the same beard he does. He's my dad. Uh, and like it's I've tried them on my face and it's like they don't even cut, but they work on him. So he says it takes a while for your beard to do something. I don't know. To develop. I, uh, I'm, I'm just going to stick. Yeah, you have to sort of get up close and personal. Torch. and <laughs> Blow board. Go so I get on. laser hair removal, so I never have to shave again. Now, having said that, I have a beard now anyway, so I don't. Really yeah, well, that's one of the one of the benefits of working from home is, is you don't have to shave every morning, which is yeah, yeah true, true that, true that. For me, Next, I, I just your... I want I, I just want clothes. Oh, that's right. I love mm-hmm. clothes. Give me give clothes? me some socks. Some well, if shirts. you're looking to get paws some clothes, since uh, you got a PO box, box, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I've got some uh, merchandise for you. Zisto.spreadshirt.com. That's Z-I-S-T-E-A-U dot spreadshirt dot com. I'll gladly for the wear it. viewers, it's Z-I-S-T-E-A-U. Yeah. Whatever. Don't no, it's a, not whatever. You're, yeah. the, you're the Portugal of Spain. There's, okay? there's three <laughs> British members 
I've got a UK, I've got a UK spreadsheet and an American spreadsheet because I like oh. to care for my customers. Well, well I've, by, by the time this airs, my Europe shop will be up and running. So all of you European pause on pause fans, you can mail them a shirt. I, I bought t-shirts from Badge. Thanks, Badge. Actually, if you're going to be Thanks sending, <laughs> if you're going to be sending it to pause, you should use the Amer- North American shop. Yeah, because it ships from that shop. I'll gladly wear a Zisto shirt. What size? Do anyway, you extra large shirt. Okay, I'll send you one. Somewhere down here, <laughs> we were talking about Christmas. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna add a quick question here and say, what was the weirdest Christmas present you got? Oh, weirdest. Weirdest, huh? Oh, shittest. See, I've never got like a weird one. My my dad has like this is like a more of a family tradition, but he always gives us like sardines and that in our stockings. <laughs> That's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. It's it's not weird to me. It's it's like more tradition now, but he just does it. I don't know why. <laughs> I got a shower radio. Like, once. Nothing but sardine tins. Just no. So he sometimes has full of sardine tins. Uh, he he has like those cocktail weeder sometimes in there, and it's just, like last year I got spam and <laughs> Maybe some nice. Oysters. It, none of it ever gets eaten, but it's just, it's more of a, like, it's a, it's a tradition for him, I guess. Yeah, I got a shower radio once. That's probably the weirdest thing I got. That's not weird at all. I think it's so it's, weird. People love from to see you the aunt. shower. Well, that's weird. From your <laughs> Here, have the shower <laughs> radio. <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe that's what she's saying. One year, um, I got a bottle of scotch like I normally do for Christmas because that's a kind of easy thing to pick out for me. But instead of just giving me a bottle of scotch, they... Buried it in a big tub of uh, banana Scotch? pudding. In oh, banana yeah. pudding, really? The closed bottle inside the like the cardboard box. So it was wrapped in like plastic and then buried in a in like a, a gallon container or whatever of banana pudding. That <laughs> who's I had the person that through. sat there and just made the banana pudding? Hmm. Who's the person that just sat there and just like stirred the banana pudding mixture with milk? <laughs> Zisto's gonna love this. <laughs> What? I don't know where you get this. <laughs> He's implying the banana pudding must have been made by somebody. Who would have done that? Who made the banana pudding? The person who gave me the present. <laughs> well, you said family, didn't you? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, my brother. There you go. There you go. That wasn't that hard, was it? <laughs> okay. I um, I I got a very odd present for my granddad once. It was. It was wrapped up and it was soft, but it was very heavy and had a very hard core in the middle. And you know, you, you try and sort of shake your present and work out what it is before you open it. And I couldn't work out for life me what it was. So I ended up opening it up and it was a large jar of Marmite wrapped in a pair of socks. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> did you eat the Marmite? It was in a jar. I know. Did you eat it though? Yeah. Ew. Why wouldn't I eat it? I love Marmite. Ugh. Love it. I've, I've had Vegemite. It's the same. Yeah, the, the 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 clue is you don't spoon yeah. it in. You have yeah. a little tiny, tiny, tiny. Amount. Still, that that it's like spreading that gross taste on a yeah. big piece. It's of It's got toast. celery in it. I can't eat it anymore because I'm allergic to celery. Weird. <laughs> like all the nice know. things. Yeah. How, that's a weird thing to be allergic to. Wow, that not so you can't Where's, have gumbo. You can't have. There's like so gumbo. many things that has celery in it as a sauce base. Can yeah, stew. gumbo's not particularly big in Leeds, so we're all right. But <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're um, missing. Yeah, no, c- celery is a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. But it, it, it is fairly common allergy by all accounts. Really, mm. I didn't know that. So when you order a Bloody Mary, you have to specify like you want a green bean and not a celery stalk, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm allergic to alcohol as well, so I don't. Know. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've not been paying attention, have you? <laughs> See, I do this. That's why whenever I'm going to meet up with Badge, I'm going to share a pint of fizzy with him. Yeah. Pint of fizzy drink. We've already See, sort of answered the fourth question, haven't we? Beef doesn't drink because he's a wuss, I think. Like, <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, guys no. have, do you guys have any family traditions? Oh, well, you know. Re- revolving around like Christmas? Time open, yeah. Open the... We always open our presents on the 24th. I think I mentioned this before. The 24th at midnight. That's a family tradition. Yeah, my family to... does that, too. Yeah, but Santa comes after that. Well, the, well, see what we do is we do the presents at midnight, and then the next morning we open stockings. So it's like two Christmases. Oh, and in your stocking you find tins of sardines. Of sardines, yeah, <laughs> lovely. Do you, do you still have stockings? I yeah, know. my mom yeah. makes stockings every year for everyone. 
Really? Brand new ones? That's cool. No, no, not she she sells about 12. Oh, okay. She doesn't make new ones. I thought you meant like she sewed new ones. I was like, that's pretty cool. No, no, no. no. She did sew them all, but she she puts like candy and uh, like a a music CD or something. (laughs) That kind of thing. Your mum knows how to stuff stockings. (laughs) (laughs) Is that that some British like clever innuendo double entendre? I think so. He <laughs> thinks so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's forget about Christmas. It's too early. It's November for Christ's sake. Yeah, next next question. question. To the Minecraft crew. There have been numerous other YouTubers that make LPs out of games that they love from their childhood. Would any of you consider doing an LP of one of those games you love from your childhood? I know Zisto is. Yeah. Bad idea. Won't get any views. Yeah, I was just gonna say uh, I'd probably play. I, I I still play old games, but I don't think I've ever I'd ever bother record and upload them because people mm-hmm. don't want to see old games. Well, that's that's the thing, right? I mean, it you you're loving this game because you know so it, it plays into the n- nostalgia factor for you. People can't buy into your nostalgia factor for some things like that. And plus, you have like the new age school gamers who are like, "Oh, these graphics are shit." It's like, dude, these are the pinnacle of graphics. <laughs> yeah, but I think the problem is that that you and Beef, you've got yeah thousands of thousands of subscribers and they're all quite young i think and it's only the older ones remember those old games. yeah so so the views you're going to get is going to be a small percentage of your total subs right but even the ones that remember there's no guarantee they'll watch yeah. it's like a percentage of a percentage yeah. of a percentage you, you, you end up getting yeah. like nothing mm-hmm. but it's not all but, about the views is it no, that's why you play I mean, them and even don't some, record them. <laughs> even some current games don't get a lot of views. Like me and Pause did uh, Diablo 3, and it, barely anybody watched that. Shit, I'm doing that's Mark of the Assassin right like, now. Or Mark of the Ninja. It's not even getting 5,000. Yeah, but the Diablo thing, it was a popular game, but it's probably because like, th- that was all over the place when you guys started uploading it. Yeah, it's it's that's not a very good, good game for videos anyway, I don't think. No. My Black Mesa is getting 500. That's 1,000? <laughs> 500 <laughs> I wondered you. See, so I'd have to say the best part of the recording that was all the, 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 the ridiculous amount of jokes on, on everybody chill. Everybody <laughs> oh no! What the, hell? <laughs> the uh, Batman and Batman, Robin. Yep. Mister Freeze. Everybody <laughs> chill. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So thank you, Elva, for that. Isn't isn't Elva young eels, baby eels? If so, that's... Uh, anyway. <laughs> that's Next question. Really this one comes in from Mark. Yes, Mark. Excuse me. Mark says, <laughs> in episode three, I think, of the podcast, there was a video accompaniment of some form of Minecraft caving that Goode had done while his mic was off. While the footage was largely irrelevant to the subject matter of the podcast, I found that <laughs> as... <laughs> so say that's not helping. <laughs> I'm trying As, to uh, <coughs> interrupt. Go ahead, sorry. Um, the subject matter of the podcast, I found that as a person more attuned. attuned. To, yeah, I, <laughs> if we didn't have system, I could probably read. <laughs> to visual stimuli. <laughs> An auditory, it uh, actually helped me stay focused on what was being said. Typically, as I watch the podcast, I get progressively bored by the unmoving still on the screen and open up another tab to find something to keep my eyes busy. Unfortunately, this often leads to me getting distracted and missing things being said on the podcast, which I then have to go back and re-listen. Is there a chance that there'll be a accompanying video for the podcast again, or dare I ask on a regular basis? Mark, PS Badge is definitely the funniest and should have way more subscribers than he does. Wow, well, way to add that in yourself. That badge added that in the end. Yeah, he did. totally did. <laughs> but, um... That's it. That's not the point of the podcast. The point of the podcast is to listen while you're doing something else, guy. Yeah. Not yeah, only I mean, that, but I mean, you know, not all of us have the time to sit there and record like an hour and a half video with no recording of Mike. You know, it, that, that that was I, I don't know. Every once in a while, maybe if there's big screw ups where we forget to record, but yeah, it's just the video was there, really, wasn't it? Yeah. I listen to podcasts a lot when I'm playing games. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. Like Minecraft, and I'm just building something, and I'm not recording or whatever. I, I put podcasts right. on. I like it. You don't sit there and stare at the screen, which is what this guy was doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, of course you're going to get bored if you're looking at the same picture every Wait, single time. Maybe they'll put something on the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta keep looking. Oh, I think I think the light changed a little bit there. With the flicker. flicker. <laughs> Quite a few people do, actually, but um, but no, you're right. It, it's an audio thing. It's, it's, it's to be listened to while you're 
vacuuming the floor and oh can i can i uh, add something mountains. about the, the the picture a lot of people are like why is this in 720p because it also affects the audio i don't know if i've answered that before but have you ever listened to a video that has 1080p and then go down to 360p you'll notice a big change in audio mm-hmm. that's why it's in 720p yeah. it's not to make the one still image has really bad audio yeah yeah next question All right Good. Hello, guy. Hello, guys. Just, Hello, guys. Just like to say that Badge, you aren't my favorite guy on the Minecraft server, just being honest. And now it's over. <laughs> Let's ask my question. Why is he going to put that in there? God. Why does Badge have to be in every question now? <laughs> Badge, by the way, don't really like you. <laughs> Here's my question. <laughs> But as I said to you guys, some people don't have the mental capacity to handle well, me. I, that, I think that's, that's fine. I think I, people I are asking Badge that. questions because he's the one that reads them. So. And, uh, yeah, I. I don't run around shouting like a f- idiot. Um, <laughs> I pause. Hey, what's up? What, uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you lot consider playing League of Legends? No, I know that you have mentioned this in the past, but I think it would be amazing to see all of you failing at the game. You, there's a lot of assumption going on in this video. This guy's very sure of himself, isn't he? I don't like you. What you lot will busy. fail. Uh, you could have beef, pause, good, B double O, and Etho. Sorry, badge. Only room for five. Ha ha. From Jket five. So not only is he assuming we're all going to fail, he's telling us what group we're going to have as well. So there. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't like you. <laughs> yes. So it's no, I, I I have no interest in playing League of Legends whatsoever. So uh, I don't really mind not being in that team. What about you guys? Well, League of Legends is short form to LOL. So LOL, <laughs> no. No. I've uh, I've watched it a, a couple of times. It's, I don't know. It's just not my thing. Those moda. Not really you're, you're not in the team anyway, sister. So it doesn't matter. Oh, well, it's it's, it's only good B double O and Uto that with beef and pause. It's not not you. Sorry. Well, you got to play against another team. That's another five spots. Well, maybe we could just go against a tree or something like that. <laughs> I don't think that's the way the game works. Are you sure? Have you played the game yourself? <laughs> I, 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 I watched a video you, once. You watched a video. Expert. Maybe they did show the part where you kill that tree. Maybe. Maybe you have a point. <laughs> it's a vicious tree. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, I wouldn't play League of Legends. I, I like, like, I'm in the same boat as East, though. I'll, I'll watch it every once in a while on like, Twitch, but it's not a game I'll, I'll play. I don't even know what half of that stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> so You better learn. Man. You're on the team. Yep. Did our audio quality just get worse? Mm-hmm. No, I'm still it's the same for me. That's been pretty okay. shitty for me all the way through, to be honest. Well, I'm all the way on the freaking West Coast. You're all the way in the I'm hearing uh, people are getting staticky all of a sudden. No, you guys sound fine to me, which is the perfect... Yeah. Well, which is if good. you're recording, I guess that's all that matters. Yep. Yeah. So, as a follow-on from this, Brian says, Hi, guys. My name is Jimmy, and I was curious on you guys' opinions on esports such as Dota, LoL, and SC2. Do you follow any esports? How about you, Good? Hello, guys! I've tried doing a good impression before, and that's as far as I can get without just sounding like I'm making fun of him. Oh, guys. Which I guess is what I'm doing, but it, it, it sounds mean instead of funny. How about a good impression from the actual good? I think oh, it. oh my- that would have been perfect. <laughs> he ruined it. He ruined it. All right. For those of you wondering what the hell's going on. Yes, esports. <laughs> call. Well, but we can't hear him. In spirit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, joy- he's here. He's listening to us, but we can't hear him. Um, I guess just keep moving on. Just keep- <laughs> this is awkward now. Yeah, I know. Uh, can you hear me now? There you yes, go, yes, dude. Yes, yes. Wow. Our French was- correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour, uh, Lamed. Yeah, bonjour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you piece of crap. How is it in Paris? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very French. Very French? That's good. Sounds Let's keep it that way. way. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> Do have I sound you, uh, like crap? No. Have you gone sightseeing at all, or are you stuck in Disneyland? No, no, uh, no. Me and my wife are not staying at Disney, and like I'm not going to Disney until the 22nd. Uh, so uh, we're staying at uh, Waldorf Madeline. Um, it's right there near like the Louvre and Arc de Triomphe and stuff. We went to the Louvre today. Cool. And uh, just got back from eating because it's like 10:30 here, not four o'clock like it is there. Mm-hmm. Croissant and cappuccino. No, you, you, good, you know what? All right, I'm. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the same time <laughs> as you, Bash. It's, it's great. 
I think everyone here must be dehydrated. Getting water is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know if it's just because I'm American or what, but I just I crave some water, not some wine or some coffee. I want to have some water. I mean, wine and coffee is great, but I like some water sometimes too. Well, coffee's made from water, so just you know, accept uh, it. Do you uh, do you so, like it syn gas or cone gas? Uh, oh God! So you're speaking you're speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> with or without bubbles? Yeah, yeah, I've I've heard those words to be. Yeah, no, I don't I don't want bubbles. I just want some fucking water. And the thing is, the first place we went to <laughs> sounds like I'm dying. I just want some. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, for real, I just want some water. Uh, the first place we went, like uh, the only water they would give us, they wouldn't give us tap water. They just gave us this expensive ass bottle water. But it was fine. It was water. But it's still, it's like. <laughs> five euros for a little bit of water. I was like rationing it with my meal. Like I just got to take little sips because, because I can't get any more water. So you probably so, don't want the tap water. In no, you can't drink that tap water. So yeah, really? really? It'll make you grow a third arm. Nice. Well, well we drank tap water with our meal tonight. So it was, oh, and why? Puts hair, puts oh, hair on my So I have a third arm now, I guess. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you'll be dropping it down the toilet tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have a third arm, right? That's gonna that's gonna lead up to some interesting. Uh, oh God! Um, uh, <laughs> you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. It's like all kinds of new sexual positions. Yeah, <laughs> he gets to do the reach around the behind, and then he could just like cover up my mouth. <laughs> you, you get the clue, boss. Yeah, I'm getting a really big clue. <laughs> I'm about to shoot my clue goo all over you. Oh, uh, so I'm like at the end of the podcast. Aren't yeah, I? we're doing we're doing yeah, questions. We're doing you're, questions. You're able to stick in if you want. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll Do you follow there. any esports there, Gude? Uh, not in Paris, no. No, not in Paris. What about in What about in America? <laughs> no, no. Okay. I mean, what 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 are esports like? Uh, um, Starcraft. Uh, yeah, that's what was, that's what the word I was trying to find. No, it's a trouble. They're all boring games, aren't they? Well, here's here, like I, I I follow some esports. I, I wish that uh, the new oh god Counter Strike was a little bit better. I mean. Uh, they're they're trying to revive the the first person shooter type of esport, but it, it well they used to have Counter Strike TV, didn't they? Yeah, but like recently, it it hasn't really gone anywhere because the the new setup for and uh, I'm so sad. I I follow um, fighting games more than I don't I don't really follow Starcraft or Dota, but I uh, I do follow the, the fighting game community fairly Street closely. And stuff. Yeah, Street Fighter and Ultimate uh, Marvel vs Capcom three mm-hmm. and. Um, we should those have had tournaments. Uh, hmm. I was gonna say we should have had Etho on as the guest because uh, his cousin his is in the Starcraft. Starcraft. Yeah. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Apparently he's like in the top twenty in the world or some shit. Is Etho Korean? Maybe his brother is. Maybe he might yeah. be. We've never seen. Yeah. Him. <laughs> That's like the <laughs> first personal detail about Etho. Sorry, Etho. Confirmed. For Etho is Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. So, that's another <laughs> question. Uh, Dan Minecrackers, it's XX Mr. Beaver XX524 again. Remember him? Loving all your great content you guys put out and wanted to ask you what your daily routine is. So, like, what time you wake up, oh. eat, record, and go to bed. Also, what is your weekly routine? So, what God. days you guys record a certain series or do oh, something? Wait. Let me open my a, weekly planner so I can read this <laughs> off. <laughs> a random yet simple question I have for you guys also is what's your favorite color? Blue. Purple. Is it, did he put in the U like cheeky, like European? Well, no, British what he style? did was Canadian? he made it so Canadian? it was Canadian and American. Uh, Damn guy. Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. Canadian. <laughs> and British. British, okay? I'm sorry, mate. Damn colonies. I keep okay, thinking so about daily you routine. I wake up. I realize that I haven't uploaded anything today, so or I don't have have I don't have anything <laughs> recorded for today. So I quickly record stuff and upload it. That's my routine. I don't plan ahead. I want you to should so plan ahead, man. I know I should, but I'm really bad at it. It's your job. Just do it. Just like right. Sit you don't down. Have any babies or any type of responsibility. <laughs> Just sit down and record like for five hours, and then you'll be good for like I a day. Can't or two. do that. I can't. I don't have the um. Well, you're old, so you have to get up and stretch to make your so your circulation is is running perfectly I'm fine, old. right? I think I'm like the second youngest one on this podcast. Well, I don't know how old Zisto is, so Zisto, how old are you? Thirty three. All right, second youngest on the podcast. <laughs> Wait, 
Oh yeah, Paul's just the youngest. Yeah. Anyway. How old are you, Beef? <clears throat> I'm thirty. I'm thirty-one, but I'm I'm slightly younger than you by like a few months or something. Okay. By All the right. way, guess what kind of car I drive? I'm gonna say a, Ford a Chevrolet Cavalier. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the hatchback version of the Ford Focus. Nope. Damn it. Do you have a Subaru? No. You're getting closer. It's a Subaru? Oh, no, it's a Mitsubishi. It's a Mr. Bishop. I drive a Subaru STI. No I was going to say an STI. What year? Oh, man. We got two uh, STIs in the group. Shut up, guys. 2011. 2011? It's newer than mine. Is it a hatch or a sedan? It's a hatch. It's a black hatch. Oh, I got a blue hatch. We should hang out. <laughs> oh, we're friends. BFFs. <laughs> is it a real no one with the turbo? Man. Or is it? What? Is it a real it's one with the turbo? Yes, it's turbo. First of all, they all have turbos there, Genius Bash. No, they don't. Yeah, Speaking they do. of cars, yeah. every car in Paris is wrecked. What, does, does no one have non-wrecked cars in this fucking place? No. No. They're just terrible drivers. And they're all really tiny. Like, I feel like I would really enjoy the cars from this area because I like little tiny cars. But I like mine not wrecked. Sorry, no, they, 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 they push their way into traffic. That's how they get around. Oh, oh yeah. I, 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 the, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was really taken back by that and just how different the cars are and how wrecked they are. Speaking of cars, yeah. it's awesome. you, you should tell them how much you spent on a cab there. You know... The the cab driver said that on the weekends the price is double because like really? okay, that's what he said. Why I don't really know. I don't know. I'm not convinced <laughs> that I was told the truth. Um, because like uh, because of tourists. I see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, sure uh, you got the tourist fee. That's definitely. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Like uh, these 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 magical fees just kept getting added like out of nowhere. Like we. Um, we, we, we were watching the fair and like whatever we just pulled out of the airport, it was instantly at 30 euros, uh, like immediately. Um, and, uh, which was like the, I guess the pickup fee. I don't know. Like we should have took the Metro or something from the airport to, 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 to our area. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but, uh, we didn't. Anyways, we pull up to the, to the hotel and the fair goes from 50 to a hundred. And we were like, uh, what? what? Wow. <laughs> and, uh, he was like, oh yeah, double on weekend. It's like, oh, <laughs> Well, okay. you got old, this, you this got isn't old. just a Paris thing. There were uh, cab drivers all over the world try to rip people off because tourists don't know like the local laws regarding what cabs can actually do. Right. So well, see, I on mean, the window, it said it said that they required to give you a receipt, and so I like told him I wanted a receipt, and he was just like, "What? Who? Hmm? No, no, speak English." You know, I mean, that's <laughs> not what he said, but yeah, it was fucked up too because we get in the cab, and uh, we asked if he spoke English, and he was like, "Oh yeah." And uh, we tell him we were going. He's like, oh, okay. And he pulls out. And then he's like, after about five minutes, he's like, where are you going? You know, and uh, he's like, where? And we're like, we tell him again. He's like, no. And uh, we're like, you speak English? <laughs> no. And it's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got raped on that one. Ugh, that's, that, that's scary. Yeah, just whenever. Well, see, whenever you get here, it'll be different because you're not going to Paris, downtown Paris. You're going and it'll be a weekday the- that I'm there. I'm going. Oh well, well yeah, <laughs> but no, you you should take the metro straight from like the the ho- I mean, from the the airport straight to Disney. It's like, a, yeah. and that's the last stop too. So you can't really screw up when the when the train tracks in. You get off. That's what I was gonna say. You're probably safer using the uh, the subway. Yeah. That's what we've done since, or what we walked today, because you know, like it, it was, it was hard with the time zone change. So I, I was like, well, if I get up around six a.m. their time, I should be okay. So we got up at six a.m., got my wife up, and we go out. And I was like, let's go get some breakfast or something. Nothing fucking opens till like nine a.m. their time. It's like everyone's drunk from the lunch br- the day before, where they had a gallon of wine. <laughs> Dude, it's only, it's only Americans that get up at stupid o'clock in the morning. The rest of the world. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, because I was like, oh, yeah, we'll be fine at six now. You know, I mean, you know, my time is midnight, but uh, I was like, you know, it's we've we've slept enough. We can go out in the world. People will be awake. No one was awake. It was raining. It was cold. So we so walked. It sounds like you're making a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> I hope you're filming all this. Uh, no, not really. Let We're, him enjoy we, I, a couple of days. He'll be recording and all that. Well, like, I recorded us walking around the Louvre and stuff, but, I mean, I don't think any of that I'll actually upload. It was just more, like, family video than anything. I think the big question is, is your wife happy you've taken her to Paris? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we're having a good time. Ooh. <laughs> oh, really? oh, I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> don't get jealous, Paws. So, is it is it weird leaving your... Like, you didn't bring your baby, did you? 
No, no, no. We actually just called right before I joined the. That's why I was late joining the call here. Well, not late, but I didn't actually forgot about the podcast. Sorry. But, so this yeah. is your first time away from the baby, though, right? Yeah, yeah. The baby, the baby's at home. How uh, is that? Is it awkward? Yeah. <laughs> on the right. Well, you know what was really weird is on the plane there was a child that was like three months younger than our daughter with the same name, and uh, like right in front of us on the plane. And I don't know. It was just like it was kind of awkward. Maybe you know? they make you feel guilty for not bringing her. <laughs> Right, right. And I told, like, I was talking to uh, the baby's dad, and um, I was telling her, you know, they, had, they shared the same name and uh, and all this. He was like, oh, you guys are taking a vacation, and uh, she's only a year old? And I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, it must be nice. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah, it is. It's great. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> so the neighbor's so, dogs are looking after her. She'll be fine. <laughs> How yeah. are you supposed to shack up with paws if your wife is there? Oh, she's well, leaving. No, no, she's she's, there she's the leaving, trip. baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's, going home. she's going home on the 22nd. So. Oh, I see. You, you and your conservative ideas. And she's okay with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does she know about cool. the fantasy yeah, sex kit that I brought last time? relationship, I guess. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Just with guys, though, not with women. Oh, I see. Yeah. Did, did, does she have any thought about the sex, the, the sex fantasy kit that I brought last time? I don't know if she saw the sex fantasy kit you kit you brought to play on con. You should you should tell her about that. I'm I'm bringing oh, a no, different yeah, one this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, she's saying she saw pictures. Okay, okay. so she saw it. You had, you had to burn it afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We left it in the hotel. I yeah, we did. The next guest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really messed up question time, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Damn guy. We've got one. <laughs> These questions are important. Well, ru- <laughs> okay, routines. I, I don't really have one. You know, I'll wake up. I'll kind of just, you know, <clears throat> watch, catch up on some YouTube videos or watch something on Netflix, and I'll feel like I gotta go record and yeah. But like yeah. recently, for for like to prepare to like go to Paris and everything, there's been days where I just sit down for like eight hours and record. That that's been tiring. That's got to be fun. That's rough. I any more than like <laughs> four hours of recording straight, and I just like the quality of what I'm doing declines sharply because I just get yeah. so tired. I don't even get. I get about about two hours. These guys can attest to my <laughs> durability. Yep. Two it's hours. You just don't and it's have like, any water, man. You need water. You would you would fit in perfect in Paris. No water. Be fine. <laughs> <laughs> maybe beef is just. Maybe he's French. And he's, yeah. We're starting to realize you're French. You're, I'm you're, French. You're too French. Stop it. I'm uh-huh. sorry. I'll be less That's French. Why your beef is so vintage. It's <laughs> French. It's vintage. Vintage. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Yeah, yeah like I, tend- I recorded five hours straight of that AMA before I left, and that was that was kind of hard. Ugh. After five hours, I felt like I was just losing my mind. That's yeah. all. I wake up, make coffee, make breakfast, eat it, and then I, uh, I normally watch like a YouTube video or two, and then I record for a few hours if I'm recording that day. And that's about as much schedule as I have. Yeah. Are you I'm doing the same the YouTube full-time? Don't you work, See? too, Sista? No, I'm YouTube's. I'm the oh. YouTube's full time. I, I am YouTube. Oh, oh! I thought you. I thought you still worked for some reason. No. Man, so that, I think. I guess maybe last Minecraft time I talked. Just full YouTuber, just crazy to me. I it's mean, a- it's my opinion that I've I've had jobs where I have to work for other people and do what they say and show up when they want, and I have this unique situation where I don't have to do that anymore, and I still get paid, and it would be like a waste of an opportunity to stick to some rigid nine to five schedule. Totally, I agree completely yeah like the last few days before i left for paris we, we had uh, i had my mother go to a babysitter which kind of sucked because i mean it was, I was about to leave but i was able to do what you guys do and actually record like i used to before the baby was born and i miss that to be able to just sit down and get stuff done and i don't know have lunch and then come back to it and get more stuff done well you could uh, you could do that you know once a week when you get back couldn't you really yeah, well, I think we're going to change a little bit of our family scheduling and stuff. We we've, we've been talking about what we're going to do come first of the year, so I think uh, I think it's going to be where I can r- record a lot more when I come back. So it should be good. I feel I feel sorry for Bash, man. We got to change our schedule or something to more suit him because it's it's six hour difference, guys. Do you ever realize that before now? Well, <laughs> the reason we do is because of you. <laughs> yeah, it's, know, it's all because of you. I'm saying, I'm saying, we got to accommodate this guy. He's he's got to be. Now tired. you're all can, of a sudden sympathetic because you're the one yeah. at six hours difference. Yeah. Can we please <laughs> not? Can we please not do it so it's like podcast hours? Because twelve waking up at twelve sucks for me when it's like we, three for you guys. I don't want to we'll wake up at like back nine, in like seven hours, good, and then get you to play a game with us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Just, no. I mean, we're talking about a schedule. This is what I do. I, I, I plan, you know, I'll get up <laughs> early tomorrow and I'll do sort of four hours, three or four hours recording or something and then do get on with the rest of my day doing work. And then this lot go, oh, look, come and play this with us. And it's four <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> So I do that for an hour, I get bugger all views for it, and then I wake up at two o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon the next day. Bugger all views. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know how you do it, man. It's, we'll fix it's it. Good. Don't worry. When when Google can record at a more reasonable time, we'll fix it. Yeah, it's gonna be well, great. Paul's has thrown a fucking spanner in the works now, hasn't he, by moving to the other side of the world? No, well, I'll, I'll move back to Winnipeg, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sounds good. You can come live fucking in my backyard. Happiness. Can I? I I'd gladly love to do that. And then I can yeah. I can sneak no, in. Nowhere near where I'm living in his backyard. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you can be <laughs> segregated. Can I at least get like a super long Ethernet cable? <laughs> you just run it off into the woods. Yeah. Uh, of course. No, man, you're all wireless. Oh, shit. Make sure you get the uh, the monster cable one. They cost three times as much. Oh, yeah. those, those ones. I, I know those are awesome, right? Because they're so expensive. Yeah, they're kind of shiny and yeah. I love shiny. They monster good, on them. Good bought one for his PC. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see part Excellent. one of that video? We screwed in a motherboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah we saw, I saw that. Was well, do, you not, do you not have a screwdriver that like uh, is magnetic on the end and holds the screws? Uh, yeah, he had lost it right before we started. Um, I don't mm. know what he did with it. We, we found it later on, but uh, yeah, no. Um, I don't have a lot of tools. I'm American, and I don't actually do things that require tools. <laughs> I got a man to do that. Next question. Yeah. All right. Final question. <laughs> sorry, good. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, a twig. Yeah. That twig. twig means nothing to you. A twig. At twig. I know you. A twig. A twig. A twig should be a double T, surely. Um, that pretty means nothing to all of you. So I'll get on with it. Do you guys have any sort of control over the types of ads that play over your videos? If there was something nope. you didn't agree with, would you have the power to veto that ad from playing on your videos or are nope. you stuck with a conduit for a message you don't think <laughs> The only thing we control is the frequency of which they play. Mid-rolls, post-rolls, pre-rolls. We don't, we don't control the content at all. If I could, I'd totally not allow Mitt Romney ads on my YouTube channel. Whatever, I here. would. Actually, you know what? The ads that I skipped were the Obama ads because I didn't want him to cost everyone it costed more money. So I was all fine with Mitt, Mitt Romney losing his money. <laughs> so I actually watched the ads of the team I, I was a, in opposition of more so than the ads that I agreed with because. <laughs> See, that's what I was saying. I'm pretty sure way. you're the only one who's ever done that. No, because I was really saying weird. this a couple of months ago. I, I don't click on the, um, the, the cancer research ads because I don't want them to pay money. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But that's how are you supposed to spread awareness without money? That's my little oh. bit of help for them. <laughs> it's it's donation. <laughs> it's donation. Doing my bit. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I just I, I want to bring up one more topic. Seeing as good is here, uh, the the panel. Is there any more information on that? Uh, I got. I've talked to her a little bit. Um, she said that uh, there's going to be hosted in a closet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's room for five of us on stage. Um, I haven't heard back from her this afternoon because I asked her if that's five plus moderator because um, I'm going to be the moderator for our panel. So I don't know if that's five of us and the moderator or what. Um, but I think I really think once we get there, we can kind of gauge whether or not we can fit more of us. Oh, wait, I got an email from her right now. Let's see what she says. Oh, look at this. This is perfect timing. This could yeah. be dangerous. This is happening live. Maybe we should add her to it the says... Skype call. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on in Minecon. You know, hopefully the email doesn't upset you. <laughs> Beef, the, you were actually the, in, the entire email is about things that me and my wife should see in Paris. So never mind, that has nothing to do oh. with the panel. Okay. Yeah, she had uh, she she had asked yesterday. Like uh, I told her we were already here, and she said uh, she said she could give us some insight on some stuff because she was she said she spent a week here in August, and I said for sure. So yeah, that's what that email was about. So anyways, never mind, ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, she said there's only room for five of us, so the rest of us can sit in the front row, and she'll give us a mic for the ones in the front row. I think once we see the stage, maybe some of us can sit on the front of the stage, or even stand on the stage, or sit in someone's yeah, lap. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if there's room for five people, I'm sure there's room for people to be standing. Right, so, right, yeah. I'm assuming there's probably trestle tables and a chairs and, and chairs or something, and there's, there's only room for that, so sit on, sit on the table, stand up. I'm sure they <laughs> could have more chairs, you just might not have a mic in front of your face. Right, right, and if there's a portable mic for the people in the front row, we probably can just use that for the extras on the stage. 
Um, so I don't know. I guess we just have to get there and gauge it. You know, um, I, I looked into Disney now that I'm here because there's not a lot of information online. I tried to kind of uh, get some information before I came. But now that I'm here, I've, I'm able to see like pamphlets and stuff about Disney that are local. And there's really not a lot to Disney. Like there's like 10, 10 attractions total within the whole place. Like uh, in Disneyland Park, there's Space Mountain, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, uh, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Uh, Indiana Jones, Temple of Peril, and Pirates of the Caribbean, and then inside the wait, studio wait, wait, wait. part. Caribbean? What? I have to say... Caribbean? Um, uh, Caribbean, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Buzz Lightyear ride at Disney World in Orlando, Florida is fucking awesome. Okay, I'm super excited as Eso. If it's the got same me, thing, got me pumped. it's yeah. fucking awesome. Actually, like, I, I guess normally... there's more... There's more small things. Actually, my wife just pointed at some stuff because like, I'm sounding like a stupid American. So <laughs> there are other small things. They're just these are the main attractions. But it's uh, funny the Americans go to uh, go to Paris, France, and the thing they want to see is Disneyland. Well, yeah, like yesterday, um, whenever I was coming back into the hotel, there was some people, Australians checking in, and they all had Disney Paris bags. So they had just come from here. Did you tell them there. how much you love their Vegemite? No, I didn't. I fucking love your Vegemite, mate. <laughs> I would have been stabbed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make sure I don't do that out there, right? Bash. Uh, Bash. Well, you're not warning me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get stabbed. Yeah, I think. I'm, I'm I think gonna... it's time. I think it's time. To say you can do, as, as to I say, say, he can do that as much as he likes, just as long as I'm not anywhere near him. <laughs> Go around calling so, people. Uh, 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 when did you come into London, Bash? Have you figured that out yet? Yeah, but we'll talk about that. Oh, okay. Beef's trying to cut us off, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to end it. It's been like an hour and a half. Oh, really? It's only been a few minutes for me. Yeah, it sure has. <laughs> <laughs> we should just start the whole thing over. Yeah, let's screw it. Yeah, yeah. Just... Redo. Redo, exactly. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Okay. <laughs> one, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Podcast. One if, more thing. Okay. If you have Fun. questions to send in, please send them in at podcast at goodlp.com. Thank you for watching. And listening, hopefully not watching, because uh, it's not much to watch. Good, thanks for joining us, our French correspondent. From Paris, France. <laughs> from, straight from Paris, France, live from Paris. <laughs> Bye, guys. Au revoir. <laughs> well, actually, sorry, uh, one more last thing. Are we going to try and uh, get one into the, the next podcast, dude? We could, All right, as long yeah. as you and I remember it, because I uh, certainly forgot tonight. I, I'd be game. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>